Hi, and welcome to T47 Productions. I'm your host, Albert Knopfsinger, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own prop gun for your next photo shoot or video, starting with one of these and ending up with one of these. Let's get started. Before we get started, we need to go over a couple tools you're going to need to get this going. One of the things you're going to need is a nice little screwdriver kit like this so that you can disassemble parts of the guns that you want to change color. Next up, you're going to need paint, a lot of paint. Uh, I like different op have different options, and one of the main options that I like to start with is a good plastic primer. As you can see, uh, I'm in Japan, so I can't read it, but you can find something as simple as plastic primer at any hardware store. Next up, you're going to want to grab two different types of silver paint, maybe a light and a dark color. I go and get the paint from the automotive section. Uh, the type of paint that you would use to touch up your vehicle if you got a scratch. And finally, you're going to need a base layer. You're going to need some type of black color. It could be semi-gloss, gloss, or uh, satin finish. I chose a chassis undercoat that's used for the underside of cars to paint them black again. Uh, it works really well and it sticks uh, really well to the gun. So it reduces the amount of flaking you're going to get later. first thing you need to do is decide which pieces you're actually going to paint different color from the main portion of the gun. Once you've decided that, you're going to disassemble the gun, remove those key pieces that you're actually going to paint a different color, and then you're going to start masking those and prepping them for the primer and painting phase. Now that you have the gun partially reassembled, you're going to take your basic pieces and start masking them off. As you can see here, I masked the clip, prepping it for paint, because the orange parts are gonna remain silver. I'm gonna take the masking tape, I'm gonna apply it around the blue areas so that I can begin painting silver first. Now this is happening after applying the primer coat. Next up, we'll show you how to apply the primer coat. So we're going to apply a good even coat of primer. The purpose of the primer coat is to help the paint stick to the plastic. It gives it a little bit of a bite and this will help reduce the amount of uh, flaking We're going to be using this uh, bright silver paint. We're going to be using it to paint the clip, the trigger, and the, I guess the shell housing for expanding shells. But and then we're going to paint just the orange part here of the gun while we're at it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And what I like to do is I like to spray a light coat first, and then um, work into a heavier coat. I'm going to move the gun away. Here we go. Okay, you can see we got a light coat going over all the pieces. And then we're going to go ahead and finish it. You can see I threw a nice light coat on the gun. I'm going to let that dry off to the side. And I'm going to finish up these pieces. Okay, I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on how to get to this closer to this final stage, and that is you have to use a combination of wet and dry brush techniques. Um, first thing to start with is you're gonna need some uh, acrylics. Using the spray paint again can actually get you right back down to bare plastic, and I don't want that. You can see that there's an example of that right there. So what you want to get is uh, acrylic based paints. You're going to need a black and you're going to need a silver uh, acrylic based paint. An assortment of brushes also helps and even a foam type pad also helps uh, this brush. So to get to this final stage where the gun has this nice sheen metal look to it, 
Um, as I stated before, I sprayed it black and then I used this silver color just lightly over it as like a guide coat. Uh, and then I added the silver acrylic. Using the silver acrylic, I used uh, a, a thin size brush. You can see right here. And I used the silver acrylic and I painted the parts that I wanted to shine that I really wanted to stick out on camera as elements of the, of the gun, main features, okay? I used a combination of silver and black here to give it a rough metal look. All right. And then um, I put silver on the areas where I wanted it to look like the edges had been worn from use. So once I was done doing that, I used a combination of the sponge brush. One side was was wet with paint and then I would wipe the other side dry with the dry side. Once I had all my silver done and I had the areas where I wanted it to be shiny and reflective, okay, I then took my, uh, as you can see, a paper towel here. I took a wider brush, like so, and with a little bit of water in there with my black acrylic, I then started painting in areas I didn't want too shiny, like so, and then use the towel to wipe back the shiny parts, okay? So I'm still maintaining reflective qualities of the high parts while leaving the, the lower parts subdued, okay? So this area is subdued and this area would be kind of a high part. So when I wipe with the towel lightly, this will get re-exposed, giving a nice silver effect. There's always gonna be some area that needs a little bit more work or attention. And it's just up to you to work those down slowly as you go. Okay. I want those to have a nice silvery top, but I want them to be filled in with black. The great thing about acrylic is uh, it's fairly forgiving and you can layer it up slowly. So I can put a layer of coat on right there and then I can layer it on again just like that. And the trick too is to have your wear go the same direction as your brush stroke and you're good to go. So there's a wet, and then there's dry, okay? And come over here and hit some of these spots on the edge here, wear it out. And then you wanna keep your paper towel kinda of moist. You can use a sponge and keep it kinda of moist as well. I prefer the paper towel method. still has the ability to paint a little bit for you, more so than a sponge sometimes. There you go. And that's pretty much close to done. I'll have a few areas I'll touch up a little bit more, but it's pretty much done for me. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of work. Um, I'm only one guy, but I really enjoyed putting it together and sharing it with you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm gonna be working on my photo shoot and a behind the scenes video where I use these bad boys to get the, to get the look I want for my photo shoot.